Today I'll be showing you the best mandazi recipe because the outcome is some light, fluffy and soft mandazi. You'll find everything listed in the description box in the right quantity. To get started, I'm going to add in one teaspoon of baking powder to my bowl, which has three cups of all-purpose flour. Next, I'm going to add in some salt and a quarter cup of sugar. Using a whisk, I'm going to whisk in the dry ingredients together to combine. And once the all-purpose flour is looking very light, I'm going to add in one tablespoon of margarine. Using my fingertips, I'm going to rub in the margarine into the all-purpose flour until it resembles little clumps of all-purpose flour. Adding the margarine into the all-purpose flour is going to help in kneading the dough and also it's going to make the dough very soft, so don't skip on the margarine. I'm going to add in my milk in intervals as I work with my fingertips until a dough forms. Make sure to go to the bottom of the bowl to make sure the all-purpose flour is fully combined. Once the dough forms, I'm going to sprinkle in some all-purpose flour as I work the dough for around 5 minutes. Sprinkle some all-purpose flour to your countertop and transfer the dough. Knead for around 3 minutes until the dough is very soft and smooth. You want the dough to be soft and slightly sticky and have a nice stretch. So make sure you knead your dough for around 5 minutes. I've tried a few different recipes trying to get the best mandazi recipe and Trust me, this recipe is worth it. After kneading for five minutes, this is how the dough is looking like. And as you can see, it's very soft. So the next step is to cut my dough into around five equal pieces of dough. just like that. Then I'm going to roll into a bowl, just like that, place aside and then make the rest. You'll notice that your dough is not sticky at all after kneading for around five minutes. That means that you have kneaded the dough to perfection. So at this point, I'm going to place a frying pan with some cooking oil. And as the oil is getting hot, I'm going to show you the next step. So I'm going to sprinkle in some all-purpose flour. Place my dough and press down a little bit using my fingertips. And using a rolling pin, I'm going to roll out the dough. So when rolling out the dough, you'll roll out the dough in a thin sheet. If you don't like, I like my mandazi halo, so if you don't like halo mandazi, you can make the dough to be a little bit thick. Make sure to go to the edges of the dough to make sure you're flattening the dough evenly. Using a knife, I'm going to cut into half and then into another and then into quarters making the signature triangle shape of mandazi 
So next I'm going to check if my oil is hot. Once you notice bubbling, the oil is hot. So next I'm going to carefully place in my mandazi. And as the mandazi is frying, I'm going to roll out another piece of dough. At this point, you have to be very fast because you don't want the mandazi to burn. The mandazis are smelling incredible and I love the golden brown color on top. So make sure the oil is hot enough to make some awesome golden brown color mandazi. My first round of mandazi is ready and just look at this. This looks very delicious. Add in my next round. As you add the mandazi in the pan, avoid overcrowding because once you overcrowd, the temperature of the oil is going to drop and you're going to have some soggy mandazis and you don't want oil seeping in your mandazi, right? So if you check your oil and you find out that it's super hot, reduce the flames to low and let the oil cool a little bit before adding the mandazi. Place in another piece of dough and roll out into a big circle. You can cut the mandazi into a desired shape, but today I chose to use the signature mandazi shape. That is a triangle. Spreading out the dough while rolling out evenly is going to make sure that the mandazis cook evenly. So I'm going to repeat until I'm done rolling out the rest of the dough. Once I have a circle, I'm going to cut in half and into quarters, just like that. Check on my mandazi. Flip my mandazi so that the other side can cook. Gorgeous. Using a schema, I'm going to scoop up my mandazi when ready and let the excess oil drip and transfer to a bowl with the rest of the mandazis. The last round is ready and in a matter of 10 minutes, my breakfast is ready. And the mandazis are looking so good. So I love the golden brown color on my mandazi and I absolutely love how hollow my mandazis are, are looking like. Wow. The good thing about this recipe is that you can make the dough in advance and store it in the fridge, wake up in the morning and make for your family some hot mandazi. And everyone will enjoy their breakfast. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll be trying out this awesome mandazi recipe.